Welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at a Flask Docker container error, uh, empty reply from server. We'll try troubleshooting that and see if we can figure out what the solution is. So now in a previous video we deployed a Flask application in a Docker container. And I'm going to go ahead and start that container up right now. And we'll, uh, we'll show this error and then we'll go through, you know, working through and diagnosing the error and see if we can figure out how to resolve it. Alright, so our container is up and running. We're going to open ourselves a new tab and curl the localhost endpoint, uh, localhost 6000. And there we go, curl 52, empty reply from server. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the container is running okay and, and verify our port binding. So it looks like, there we go, we got our container, it's up, and the port bindings are set. All right, so let's take a look inside the container. We'll see if everything seems to be running and working okay in there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the docker exec. Um, enter right on the uh, command line here and that should bring us right to our working directory which is app uh, we'll go ahead and curl the endpoint from inside the container and we see the response we expected hello world okay fantastic so the server is up and running inside the container uh, but we can't access it from outside all right so let's take a look at our script and see if we can find anything and it looks like right there yep we're missing the host settings so uh, we'd gone through that in the initial setup video but i wanted to kind of uh, deep dive into that a little bit just for better understanding so now um, flask tends to run on a loopback address right so localhost or 127.0.0.1 um, by default but you can set the host ip so if we look at our docker container we see that, that host ip is going to be 0000 and we'll take a look we'll see that the ip address of this container is actually different from our host address or uh, our local machine or vm because um, it's running inside the Docker network. So we're obviously not going to be able to use the loopback address to get to that uh, server endpoint because it's going to respond to a different address. So we need to set that host IP to 0 to 0 to 0 to 0. And what that'll do is any request into that container, it's going to forward it to that server. So the server will be listening on that address. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set those values in our script. Exit out of there. All right, and we're going to have to uh, close out of this container remove it, then we'll rebuild and redeploy our, our Docker image here. All right, so the rebuild should run relatively quickly because there's not a lot to this container. Okay, fantastic, so we rebuilt. And let's go ahead and run this container and make sure obviously we're setting a uh, user-friendly name for it and binding our ports with a minus P, uh, tech P. 6,000 colon 6,000 and the image. All right, that is up and running and we'll go ahead and change over and try to run our curl script again. Boom, there we go. So we have diagnosed the error, fixed it, and we should be good to go for accessing the container externally. All right, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and uh, please feel free to check back for more content.